have here the uh, Ibanez Geo Micro. Dun -dun. And uh, it's a pretty cool guitar. <laughs> I'm not used to a, a non-scallops fretboard and the strings are a little stiff on this. Uh, I'm not sure what gauge they are, but I did tune them up a little bit to keep it in tune. Uh, so it's not tuned to E. But anyway, uh, it's a cool guitar. <laughs> work they're not great um, if this was mine I would probably replace the pickups and uh, the tuners you know I have I have really no issue at all with uh, inexpensive guitars I have a ton of squires Epiphone you know all that kind of stuff no issues you know as long as you know what you're getting into and at least this exact guitar, the tuners are kind of sketchy. Uh, they seem to have a low ratio, so if you turn it a tiny bit, the pitch of the string kind of jumps, so it's really tricky to get it right perfectly in tune. It takes a little trial and error, and I shot past the tuning a little bit and had to go back under and tune back up again until I nailed it. Uh, but you know, you could replace the tuners um, just with, with another cheap set, 12 or 15 bucks, whatever, uh, nothing that expensive. Uh, you might get a lousy set again, but, you know, probably not. Um, I've rarely had to replace tuners because the tuners were just stinky. So, anyway, uh, the neck feels nice. Uh, it's not really thin like super thin, like a wizard, like an Ibanez wizard or whatever, uh, but it's nice. It's, it's a nice, smooth, slim, fast feeling neck. Uh, the guitar looks pretty cool. And, uh, you know, like I said, the pickups are fine. They work. So, if you're looking at one of these and you're on the fence, I would, I would say buy it. <laughs>